Good evening and welcome to our evening prayers for Saturday the 12th of October. Um, you heard there our friend Adrian Boynton at Christ the Cornerstone in Milton Keynes playing, in this case, a Sonata in C by Scarlatti on, of course, the harpsichord. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. I waited patiently upon you, O Lord. You stooped to me and heard my cry. You put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and stand in awe and put their trust in the Lord. You are the Lord. Do not withhold your compassion from me. Let your love and your faithfulness keep me safe forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And from the lectionary, um, let's take some verses from Psalm uh, 104. I'm going to read from verses 24 to 31. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide. Creeping things innumerable are there, living things both small and great. There go the ships and Leviathan that you formed to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We will return to Hosea for our Old Testament reading. This is chapter 10, the first 15 verses. Israel is a luxuriant vine that yields its fruit. The more his fruit increased, the more altars he built. As his country improved, he improved his pillars. Their heart is false. Now they must bear their guilt. The Lord will break down their altars and destroy their pillars. For now they will say, oh, I wonder if you're experiencing, uh, but my uh, signal seems to be coming and going tonight. I'm sorry, I seem to have lost some of you. Hello, I think you're back. I think I'm back. Let's see how we go. We were in the midst of Hosea. I'm sorry if my signal is not holding up tonight. We were at verse 7. Samaria's king shall perish like a chip on the face of the waters. The high places of Avon, the sin of Israel, shall be destroyed. Thorn and thistle shall grow up on their altars. They shall say to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills, fall on us. Since the days of Gibeah you have sinned, O Israel. There they have continued. Shall not war overtake them in Gibeah? I will come against the wayward people to punish them, and nations shall be gathered against them when they are punished for their double iniquity. Ephraim was a trained heifer that loved to thresh, and I spared her fair neck. But I will make Ephraim break the ground. Judah must plough, Jacob must harrow for himself. Sow for yourselves righteousness, reap steadfast love, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord that he may come and rain righteousness upon you. You have ploughed wickedness, you have reaped injustice, you have eaten the fruit of lies, because you have trusted in your power in the multitude of your warriors. Therefore the tumult of war shall rise against your people, and all your fortresses shall be destroyed, as Shalman destroyed Betharbao on the day of battle, when mothers were dashed in pieces with their children. Thus it shall be done to you, O Bethel, because of your great wickedness. At dawn, the king of Israel shall be utterly 
cut off in this is the word of the Lord thanks be to God a stark passage again from Hosea but one that had a small echo within it of something that we heard at today's synod meeting when Geoffrey our moderator um, um, touched upon the point that if we trust in our own power, our own capabilities, our own skills, um, then we are bound to fail. We must trust and glorify God and see what he will work with us. If that's true of nations like Israel, it's true also of churches and individuals. That's of the Gospel reading, which is Luke 8, 16 to 25. No one, after lighting a lamp, hides it under a jar or puts it under a bed, but puts it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For nothing is hidden that will not be disclosed, nor is anything secret that will not become known and come to light. Then pay attention to how you listen, for to those who have, more will be given. And from those who do not have, even what they seem to have will be taken away. Then his mother and his brothers came to him, but they could not reach him because of the crowd. And he was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside, wanting to see you. But he said to them, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. One day he got into a boat with his disciples and he said to them let us go across to the other side of the lake so they put out and while they were sailing he fell asleep a windstorm swept down on the lake and the boat was filling with water and they were in danger they went to him and woke him up shouting master master we are perishing and he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves they ceased and there was a calm he said to them where is your faith? They were afraid and amazed and said to one another, Who then is this that he commands even the winds and the water? And they obey him. In this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, I mentioned already it was our synod meeting today, the 105th meeting of the East Midlands Synod since its formation in 1972 um, and um, we amongst other things there we once again recalled that um, Isaac Watts who was born 350 years ago this year um, spent some of his formative time as a young man and a young preacher in the East Midlands um, and we sang one of his hymns which is this one I'm not afraid to own my Lord. Number 428 in Rejoice and Sing and sung here um, within morning worship um, at the Metropolitan Tabernacle in London.
prepared to own our Lord, to talk about the hope that is within us, was the a theme of today's Synod meeting um, as we launched a two-year focus um, on talking faith, on being able to speak to others with confidence of our relationship with the living God, which um, we will um, embark upon in earnest in spring 2025. Um, but it was good to begin thinking about it with Synod members today. Um, I am noting um, that I, um, I seem to be strobing horribly on screen, so if any of you are prone to fits or seizures, I would suggest you might like to um, listen only. Um, it's not happening in the room, it's only on screen. But I will plough on, despite the gremlins afflicting us tonight, and we will turn to our time of prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for surrounding us as daylight fades with the brightness of the evening light. And we pray that as you enfold us with the radiance of your glory, so you would shine into our hearts with the brightness of your Holy Spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, O God, that we who are baptised into the death of your Son, Jesus Christ, and continually die to sin and be buried with him, that through the grave and gate of death we may pass to our joyful resurrection. For his sake, who died and was buried and rose again for us, your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. In our prayers of intercession, if you would like to join in, then when I say, Father of mercy, respond with me, hear our prayer. And I was struck today as I met old friends and contacts at the Synod meeting um, that there were many there for whom we have prayed um, since we began this in 2020. Um, some mercifully no longer needing to be on our daily prayer list and several others who remain there. Um, so it reinforces the power of remembering them night by night. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Father of mercy, hear our prayer. You guide your church in the way of truth. Stir up among us the gifts of your grace. This Saturday night, as every Saturday, we pray for the ministers, elders and members of our churches in Milton Keynes and all our partners in that most ecumenical of cities. But tonight, let us also pray for the members, and elders and Minister Martin Ferris of Abbots Road Church in Leicester, which so generously hosted our Synod meeting today. Father of mercy, hear our prayer. Holy wisdom fills the whole of creation. By your spirit, renew the face of the earth. Lord, we heard in our psalm tonight about your sustenance for all the creatures of the earth, for your manifold creation. I was struck this week reading that since my birth, um, uh, three quarters of the Earth's wildlife um, have gone. Um, there are only a quarter as many wild animals as there were 50 years ago. Um, that's by human hand. So, Lord, do by your spirit renew the face of the Earth and may we play our part in that. Father of mercy, hear our prayer. We are the temples of the Spirit. Confirm our lives in the service of the Gospel. And Lord, where you call upon us to talk of our faith and how it's fundamental to our identity, to other people, let us not shy away from doing so. Father of mercy, Hear our prayer. Your anointing restores wholeness to a broken world. 
give healing to the sick, freedom to captives, and hope to the dying. Lord, we continue to pray for a peaceful resolution to the bloodshed and violence in Gaza, Israel, Lebanon, and elsewhere in the Middle East. And likewise for the restoration of peace and justice in Ukraine, in Sudan, in every place blighted by war, humanitarian distress, and natural disaster. We pray too for those individuals we know to be in need. Those who are currently ill, including Margaret Davies of our former Rose Hill URC. And praying too with the Reverend J. Phelps for Sue Phelps. And with the Reverend Gillian and Alice Poucher for Neil. We pray for those awaiting surgery, including Elaine Dre of our former Armin URC. And Alison as she awaits eye surgery. We pray for those who are recovering from surgery or illness or receiving continuing treatment, including our Synod Administrator who returned to the top table today, Chris Willis. Barbara Turner of Holly Merside URC, who was also present and although she has given up on the prospect of having surgery, is managing. Deacon Emily Hall Crook, Graham Galeb, the Reverend Helen Wakefield Carr, the Reverend Hamish Temple, the Reverend Graham and Vera Maskery. With Moynia and Stella for Father Andy. For Natalie. Andy. Two and a half year old Noah. And also his grandfather, Craig. And with Alison for her friend, Sinita. We pray for those who are living with long term conditions or in difficult circumstances, along with all those who look after them. For Roger Allen and for the Reverend Ruth Allen as she cares for him. For Jean Schenk and for the Reverend Brian Schenk as he cares for her. With the Reverend Claire and Reverend Brian Davison for their daughter Susie. With Ankatea for her friend Kelly and for Laverne, as she cares for him. With Andy, for his dad Mike, and for Liz and Ruth, as they care for him. For John, and for Irene, as she cares for him, especially after this week's hospital stay. And for Cheryl and for Prince and the family as they care for her. And let's just leave a moment of silence so that each of us can add the names of anyone else we know to be in need of God's healing and presence tonight. For all of these, Father of mercy, hear our prayer. Nothing in all creation can separate us from your love. Receive into your keeping those who have departed this life. And we pray likewise for all who mourn the loss of loved ones, especially the Reverend Maureen Buxton and all who grieve for Dawn Buxton, for Sunita in the loss of her mother and for those whose bereavements we mentioned at Synod Meeting today. For all who grieve the passing of loved ones, 
Father of mercy, hear our prayer. As we rejoice in the power of the Spirit, may God grant us today the faith of the apostles, the boldness of the prophets, and the strength of the martyrs. Father of mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. And we shall conclude with the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. I will leave you then tonight with um, once again a rendition of Isaac Watts's um, him I'm not ashamed to own my lord, but this time played in bluegrass style um, by um, an American family, Nathan C. George and family, and to a different tune entirely. So enjoy two minutes of I'm not ashamed to own my lord. The Lord bless us with his grace and fill us with his peace. Amen. Good night.